Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 30 april 2016. Dus het bulletin van zaterdag. Today's bulletin is always on Saturdays will be in English. At the end of the bulletin we first have the Morse code words and after that an SSTV image in PD50 which can be received on smartphone using for instance Robot36 on Android and CQ SSTV on iOS. We start with the propagation bulletin and we also have some DX news and other news. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the text on the RSGB's own web page. Propagation report now, compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. It's been another mixed week with coronal holes, holes dominating once again. The K-index, a measure of the disturbance of the Earth's magnetic field due to incoming solar plasma, fluctuated all week, being as low as 1 and as high as 4. The solar flux started the week at 82, but rose steadily to 94 by Friday. By then, there were actually six sunspot regions visible on the sun, although some were so small they looked like dust on the lens. Too small, but also almost geo-effective. Uh, coronal holes could be seen in the Solar Dynamics Observatory's extreme ultraviolet image on Thursday, which suggests we may have unsettled conditions as you hear or read this report. NOAA predicts the solar flux index could rise to 95 by the 3rd of May, although unsettled geomagnetic conditions will continue to affect propagation, especially on the 1st and 4th. As we're now in May, sporadic E will become prevalent on the higher HF bands, notably 10 metres, but more about that later. Otherwise, a look at an HF propagation coverage map, map from VOACAP online shows May generally seeing the start of the summer doldrums when maximum usable frequencies are generally lower during daylight hours but remain higher at night. VHF and up, we may start this week with a weak ridge of high pressure over southern Britain, which is potentially useful for some limited tropo, especially down to the south, towards western France and northern Spain. Unfortunately, almost as soon as it happens, it will be gone, and low pressure will be in control, so it's more likely to be rain scatter on the gigahertz bands from large shower clouds that gives any enhancement locally. On a more positive note, the sporadic east season is now underway and current weather patterns are producing good jet streams in the right places over Europe. These are known to be helpful for sporadic E, and the sporadic E maximum usable frequency has already meet, meet, reached more than 100 MHz in the past week over the northern Balkans and allowed UK stations to have 6 meter QSOs with Greece. Sporadic E is not an everyday thing, so check the beacons and clusters to follow any openings as it ident intensifies. Openings usually start a short skip on 10, then up through 6 to 4, and perhaps even 2 metres. There are two main periods of activity from the UK, usually late morning and again late afternoon into early evening. Moon declination is climbing this week, so losses are falling as the moon comes into perigee on Thursday, so this is a good week for EME with a daytime moon. And that's all for this week from the Propagation Team. The ARIS UK Operations Team is delighted to announce that the ARIS School contact between Ashfield Primary School in Otley, West Yorkshire, and Tim Peake on the International Space Station has now been confirmed for Thursday the 5th of May at 0908 BST. It will be a direct contact operated by GB1 APS. The contact should be audible over Western Europe. Interested parties are invited to listen on 145.8 MHz narrowband FM. Due to the increase in D-Star activity with many new users of the mode, UK FM Group Western, who maintain D-Star repeaters throughout the North West, has produced a guide to D-Star etiquette. The web pages outline some common practices and hints on use of repeater linking and radio settings, which will be helpful in maintaining the best use out of the system. The page can be found at www.ukfmgw.co.uk under D-Star Etiquette. 
The minutes from the interim meeting of the IARU Region 1 are now available on the RSGB Spectrum Forum website. Over the weekend of the 16th and 17th of April, delegates from member societies discussed numerous papers and proposals on HF, VHF, microwave and EMC matters. The resulting recommendations for band plan and other changes will be considered for approval by the Region 1 Executive when they meet on the 7th and 8th of May. Details at at http two dots two slashes tinyurl dot com forward slash gkw figure two w figure six h now the dx news compiled from four two five dx news and other sources code gji one let is operating as jd one boi from chichijima island on the ogasawara archipelago iota aso three one until the sixth of may Ogasawara is about 1,000 kilometres south of Tokyo and counts as a separate identity for the DXCC awards. Koji is working all bands from 80 to 6 metres using CWSSB and RITI, QSL via home call. A expedition to Lundy Island, EU-120, will take place on the 2nd to the 7th of May by three members of the Virtual Amateur Radio Club from Kent. Mark G0GQT, Keith m 0 M. M, sorry, M0KJA and Nigel G0GDA will be using MX0VRC portable. The island has no grid electricity and uses locally generated power between 6am and midnight. The generator is being switched off during the night. Three stations will be using a variety of antennas and running SSB data and CW on the 80 to 10 metre bands QSL EQSL. See QRZ.com for more details. Chris HB9LCA will be active as YJ0CS from Vanuatu, OCO35 from the 1st to the 27th of May. He'll be mostly CW and working holiday style, QSL home call. Martin LU9EFO will be QRV as CE0Y stroke call sign from the 6th to the 16th of May from Easter Island, SAO01. Activity will be HF bands, QSL via F4BHW. A group of operators will be QRV as MJ stroke ON4 RSX from from St Brelad Island at Jersey. Sorry, from St Brelad, Jersey Island from the fifth to the eighth of May. Jersey is IOTA EU013. Activity will be on the forty to six metre bands using CWSSB in various digital modes. QSL via ON eight VP. Bleeper de bleep. Tingelingeling. Wie is daar? De Zens Amateur. Vandaag niets nodig. Ook geen morse QSO? Nee, vandaag dus niks. Jammer. De zuid loga waar we eerder ook al aandacht aan hebben besteed, heeft vandaag een vervolg geplaatst op de kolom Zend Amateurs onder het vergrootglas. Die gaat in op de verschillende categorieën Zend Amateurs die er zijn. Losjes gebaseerd op antropologische en sociologische principes. De kolom van vandaag van PA3 AHI gaat over de paalklever en de hitparadist. De URL van de site is logatoom.blogspot.nl. Je kunt de URL ook vinden op hobbyscope.nl.